Taking a stand to stop hate in our community. That's what the Jewish Community Alliance and First Coast YMCA are partnering and trying to achieve through an educational initiative. News for Jack supporter Ariel Schiller shares how those organizations are hoping it will put a stop to hate motivated crimes. When anti-Semitic messages were displayed at the Florida Georgia game in Jacksonville last year, Adam Chaskin, CEO of the Jewish Community Alliance, decided to join forces with First Coast YMCA. That then led to us bringing our staffs together to brainstorm how we could best try to educate people about the differences that we have and break down some of those barriers. The two organizations coming together helped create a speaker series called Together Against Hate, covering issues concerning prejudices for faith, race, LGBTQ+, and more. Certainly the Y and the J, we have very similar missions. Um, despite what letter might be in our name, our mission is the same, to try to help improve the community and bring everyone together. Several weeks before the first speaker series, a racially motivated mass shooting took the lives of three people at a Dollar General right here in Jacksonville. Chaskin says the education they want to provide is needed now more than ever. Unfortunately, I mean, that's, you know, it's just reinforces the need to do this. Um, and it was obviously a racially motivated hate crime. And then to add on to that, that, you know, the person had a swastika, sticker, uh, which is another form of hate carved into the weapon that was used. Erica Moore, vice president of social responsibility and operations for First Coast YMCA, says the Dollar General shooting was personal to her because she works and lives in that community. The fact that they were already planning this series when it happened means that much more to her. It's an opportunity for us to all to come together and then figure out how the YMCA can continue to have those safe places, specifically on the north side, but then also throughout northeast Florida. According to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, reported hate crimes increased from 2020 to 2021 by 11 percent. That data shows hate crimes rose 14 percent against black people, 20 percent for Jewish people, 70% for the LGBTQ community, and 167% for Asian people. Even though there is a rise in hate crimes, there's also a great interest in educating the community about those prejudices. The first event Thursday had a packed room with a wait list. It's telling us that people really want to start having these conversations, but they may not absolutely have the, the ability to do so or the, um, the safe places to be able to have these conversations. So the fact that it's full tells us that there is a greater need to have these conversations. Reporting in Jacksonville, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station. And there are four more events planned through January for the Together Against Hate speaker series. The groups have organized it. They have hopes of continuing the series for years to come. The next one, October 10th at Friday Musicale.